all of the intermediates with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Remembering that the class of the intermediates is made up of children from 7 to 11 years old. For us to begin this period, we're going to pray by the blood of Jesus. So I invite all who are watching to close your eyes. Lord Father, we plead by the blood of Jesus. We present our lives before your altar and we ask, Lord, forgiveness for our sins, fellowship with your Holy Spirit, and that you may speak to our hearts in this class. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. We're going to begin singing a song to our God, My God, My Father. My God, my Father, I plead to you, my Lord, by the blood of Jesus, give me peace and fellowship. My God, my Father, I plead to you, O Lord, through the blood of Jesus, give me peace and fellowship. What happiness, intermediates, it is when we sing to our God. It makes our heart happy and gives peace to our soul. And we're going to continue worshiping our God, singing the song, Jesus is our victory. Jesus is our victory. He takes us to his glory and keeps us away from all danger. Jesus is our great friend. I am happy because I met Jesus and today I walk in his light. In eternity with Jesus I will live and with the angels adore him forever. Long live the King, long live the King, long live the King Jesus. Long live the King Jesus. Today we're going to proceed with the classes that we have in the month of April. The theme is the blood of Jesus. Today, we're going to talk about the scarlet thread. And for this, we're going to read a text in the Word of God that is in the book Joshua, chapter 2, second part of verse 17 and verse 18. Let's read together. We will be blameless of this oath of yours, which you have made us swear, unless when we come to the land, you bind this line of scarlet cord in the window through which you let us down. And unless you bring your father, your mother, your brothers, and all your father's house gold to your own home. Today, we're going to talk about the scarlet cord. But before that, we need to know what is scarlet? Do you know? Scarlet is a red color. It's very lively and bright, just as you can see in the slide. And for us to understand of the scarlet cord, we need to learn about the story of a woman called Rahab. And we can understand what the scarlet cord means for our lives. Rahab lived in a city called Jericho. It was a city full of sin. There, people did not serve the living God. They didn't serve the God of Israel, our God. And in that time, the people of Israel had left Egypt, 
had passed through the desert during those 40 years and the moment had arrived that they would conquer and enter the promised land. The leader of that time was Joshua. He was substituted from Moses. But for Israel to enter the land of Canaan, it was necessary to enter a couple of cities and conquer them. In these was Jericho, but Jericho was a very protected city. You can see on the slide, look at the size of the walls that surrounded the city. It was big and tall and very wide. These walls were so wide that you could build a house on these walls. And Rahab's house was like that, right on top of the wall. And that's how you could leave the city. Joshua, for him to be able to enter that city, he thought, I need to send people to look into that city and see what's happening there because the city was very protective. So they needed to see what was in there. So Joshua secretly sent two men to spy Jericho city. And they went there with the goal to learn what was happening in that city. And when they were there, the king of Jericho found out that there were spies there. And the king of Jericho sent his soldiers to find out where the spies were. And do you know who hid the spies? Rahab. Rahab hid the spies on top the rooftop of her house. Look, they hid in the midst of the linen cloths. And they were there hiding until the soldiers of the king of Jericho went away. And when nighttime arose, Rahab went up in the rooftop to talk to these men. And she went to explain why she took that decision. Do you know what she said to them? She said that the people of Jericho were afraid, very scared, because they knew that the people of Israel had a strong God, a powerful God. And she told them, I heard that when you and your people left Egypt, your God opened the Red Sea for you to pass through it. And I also heard that the God of Israel conquered many kings, all the people who opposed the people of Israel, but God was with them. How wonderful. Rahab told those men, that she recognized that the God of Israel, our God, is a powerful God, a wonderful God. And I'm going to tell you something, intermediates. What a great, wonderful thing is when a sinner recognizes that God is wonderful. Jesus one time said in the book of Luke that when a sinner repents, there is a feast in heaven. What a blessing. And so Rahab explained to them why she took that decision, that she recognized that God was wonderful, that their God was powerful and wonderful. And she was afraid. So she asked them a favor. She said, when the people of Israel enter this city of Jericho and conquer the city, I want me and my family to be saved. She asked them for deliverance because she knew that God was with those people. And when those people of God enter that city, that city would be conquered. And she also asked for a sign so that she would not have doubts. So those two men, they agreed to this and they said, okay, Rahab, we are going to deliver you and your family, but you need to do certain things. You have to tie a scarlet cord on your window. And this cord is going to be a sign that on that house, there will be deliverance. 
And also, you have to do one important thing. You also have to do this. You have to stay inside the house and can't tell this agreement to anyone else. So the scarlet cord would be a sign of deliverance and protection. But now I ask myself, the people in Jericho would pass by and maybe they would see that scarlet cord and not understand anything. What did that mean? They didn't know the secret, the mystery that was that scarlet cord hanging from the window. Maybe so simple looking, but it would deliver Rahab and her family members from destruction. So what does God want to teach us with the scarlet cord? What he wants to teach us is that just as the scarlet cord was deliverance to Rahab and her household, the blood of Jesus is deliverance for our lives. We can understand that the scarlet cord represents the blood of Jesus. But how so? Well, the blood of Jesus is powerful. It can deliver us, protect us. And when we pray by the blood of Jesus, we are mentioning and remembering that when Jesus died on the cross for us, it was not in vain. Jesus died for us to give us access to salvation. So when we plead by the blood of Jesus, we remember this. And God is pleased with us and forgives our sins, gives us fellowship, and we get closer to God. And he also delivers us, protects us. So the blood of Jesus is a secret that was revealed to the people of God. There, people would pass by and didn't understand what that scarlet cord represented. And today, Many people do not know the secret of the power of the blood of Jesus, but we know glory to Jesus. And in the end of our story, Intermediates, the people of Israel entered the city of Jericho and conquered that city. Everything was destroyed, but only Rahab and her family were saved. And this just as there there was deliverance of destruction for us there is also as well if we have that sign that is the blood of jesus on our lives we will be blessed we see that as we pray by the blood of jesus the lord blesses us and our family and brings deliverance to our family so the sign needs to be in our hearts and mind all the time the pleading of the blood of Jesus is very important and God will bless us and our family. But you can ask me, but when should we pray? Well, the pleading should be constantly in our hearts. When we are leaving our house, when we are sad, when we are happy, the pleading of the blood of Jesus should be done at all moments. And I'm going to tell you something. We know that today there is a lot of people in the world that is sad, anguished, desperate, we can say, because of this infirmity that has taken over the world. But we know the secret so that all of these awful sentiments leave our hearts. It is the pleading of the blood of Jesus. And more importantly, the pleading of the blood of Jesus brings us more benefits than what we already learned today. It's fellowship, deliverance, forgiveness of the sin. But the blood of Jesus also gives us eternal life. But why? Because when Jesus returns to rapture the church, he will see the mark of the blood of Jesus in his servants. And we will rise up with him to live in eternity. May stay in our hearts. 
we're going to end by singing the song, The Day of the Lord Will Come. The day of the Lord will come with judgment on all evil. Come quickly, come quickly. Great blessings are waiting for you. Come quickly, come quickly. Great blessings are waiting for you. The sun of justice will rise. Salvation he will bring under his wings. Come quickly, come quickly. You will find shelter in his wings. Come quickly, come quickly. You will find shelter in his wings. The sun of justice will rise. Salvation and deliverance. You will go out and announce that there is still room in his wings. You will go out and announce there is still room under his wings. Come quickly, come quickly. Find shelter in his wings. Come quickly, come quickly and find shelter under his wings.